chicken with a scooter? What a boat. She's a beauty. Quite a boat. It's original. Oh, where'd you see it? We're sailing to the Queen Charlotte's in 10 days. Pete and I are going to be on our crew. They take people without experience? They'll train us. We talked to a guy who did it last year. You think they'll take me? Hey, you're not getting out of this game that easily. You have to be under 21, Dad. I'm under 21. I want to sign up. Are you sure, Nicole? I mean, this is an adventure, not just a pleasure cruise. Give me a break. It could be a very big challenge. Yeah, that's it. A challenge. Well, I hope you guys are up for it. Touche. Yeah, you tell them, Nicole. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go sign up. What's that? Put my queen back. Next, your names? Sean McGill. Albert Newicki. Feel a bit outnumbered? It's all part of the challenge, right, Nicole? Take a booklet and study it carefully. Next. General Roberts. Pete Henderson. Well, well, well. The weekend water rats. I don't think he recognizes. I can assure you I have excellent vision and hearing. So you two wish to learn some real seamanship, do you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to take a practical and a written test in basic seamanship. A test? Mm-hmm. Top six candidates sail with us to the Queen Charlotte's. Pick up a booklet from the bosun here. I suggest you commit it to memory. Thank you, sir. Next. My name is Nicole Roberts. Pleasure. What can I do for you? I'm here to sign up for your crew. I'm afraid that's impossible. Next. Excuse me, what do you mean? Why not? This is a real sailing ship, Miss Roberts. It's much too dangerous for you. I think I'm perfectly capable of handling it, sir. What makes you think that? I've done rock climbing, piloted planes, and I grew up in the African bush. It's all very admirable, Miss Roberts, but it's completely beside the point. I've never had a woman on my crew, and I don't intend to start now. Next. With all due respect, sir. Someone has to be first. You've got a lot of nerve, Miss Roberts. Well, you may attempt the seamanship course. Since you seem to be so determined, I can't prevent you from doing that. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Next. You've got a lot of nerve, Miss Roberts. Yeah, a lot more than me. Look, you guys can take the test if you want, but uh, I'm abandoning ship. What about the challenge? Life is challenging enough already. Bon voyage. What about you? You quitting? Not a chance. I can handle it. You think so? Oh, I know so. Pretty strong words for a weekend water rat. When are you two going to go to bed? Soon. In a bit. Aren't you taking this challenge thing a bit too seriously? Nope. OK, then. Let's see how much you've learned. What is the center of gravity of the boat? The point through which all the boat's weight acts vertically downwards. I knew that. I did. OK, answer this one, then. What are the factors? that govern the transverse stability of the boat? Uh, 
I don't mean to sound like Captain Bly, but uh, do you people have any idea what time it is? Oh, 0300 hours, an hour before the end of middle watch. Morning watch starts in an hour. Right, Jonah. They should have the results of that test by now. What if they don't make it? Worse, what if one of them makes it and the other one doesn't? Hmm. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Anything new? Not much. We made it. You did? Both of you? Yes! All right, you guys are going to have the time of your lives. I'm so jealous. Some of you have something to prove by embarking on this voyage. I want you to know that there are easier ways to prove yourself than by coming aboard my ship. As for learning seamanship, you all have a long way to go. You're all starting from zero. Roberts, do I make myself clear? Good, now, stow your kit below. Watch you back here in five minutes for your first watch assignments. Paul! Oh. Ever get the funny feeling we're being singled out? No kidding. You know, I hate to admit it, but you were actually right about something. What's that? This isn't a pleasure, Cruz. Roberts, you got exactly four minutes before you report for duty. Now get a move on, both of you. How do we do this? We can start by getting some gas masks. I'm Sean, by the way. He's Albert. Jonah. Hi, Anikov. I guess you must find it kind of rough, huh? What do you mean? Well, I mean, we're all guys here. And you're a... Well, you know. I don't have a problem with being a... Well, you know. You've got a lot to learn about women, McGill. See now, you people proud of your work here? You, proud of your work? Um, uh, I, I mean, it, it, it's not that, what I mean to say, sir, is that it could be better, right? But considering our lack of experience on Answer the ship and everything. Answer the question. That... Yes, sir, I'm proud of our work on the ship, sir. Good. Then you all won't mind doing it again, then, will you? No, yes, sir. sir. He reminds me of my piano teacher. Yeah, reform school would have been better than this. What would we have to do to get into reform school?
Well, some of you appear to be making progress. So for the next watch, I've decided to change most of your assignments. McGill, Forshall Sheets, Nwiki, Mainsel Sheets, Roberts, female, brass polishing, Olsen. You're getting ripped off. <clears throat> Do my orders meet with the approval of the Roberts family? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Then I hope you'll be equally pleased with your assignment. Bolson, I want you to show Roberts here how to service the triadic stay. That's it. Any questions? Yes, sir. Where is the triadic stay, sir? It's up there. Now, the triadic stay is wrapped in marlin. We're going up to coat him with this tarso here. Why don't you take the bucket, Roberts? Okay, all set? Yeah. So. Hey, hey, it's all right. I'll be up there with you. Right. Okay. All right, guys, haul away. Put your packs into it. Take them up. Take them up. Does anybody ever um I guess this really isn't the right time to ask. Uh... Come on, the wicket! Put your back into it. Belay the line. All right, Roberts, back to work. You don't need an audience. Yes, sir. You stay put, huh? You'll be all right. Hurt. Easy. You all right, yeah. Murano? Yeah, I'll be all right, thanks. 
Well, Roberts. Yes, sir. Quick thinking. I think it's about time you learn some navigation. Yes, sir. We're sailing by the lee, so all you have to do is hold the course at 270 degrees. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, 10 degrees could create a jibe, so no deviating. Yes, sir. No deviating, sir. All right. First thing to do is to find out where you are. And we do that by establishing a line of position. Who's responsible for this? I am, sir. Good job. Seem to have found your niche. Uh, Captain Burke. Yes? I'm capable of more than just polishing brass, sir. You don't feel sufficiently challenged? I just want to learn how to sail. All in good time, Miss Roberts. All in good time. Uh, sir. Yes? Nothing, sir. I could try talking to him. I can handle it, Jonah. Thanks, anyway. Follow me, Robert. You know how to use a sextant, Robert? No, sir. Now, you'll notice it has three basic parts. Telescope, an adjustable mirror, and scale graduated in degrees and minutes. Uh, listen, Wiki, I'm gonna have to get something from my arm here. Uh, you think you can uh, handle this on your own for a few minutes? Absolutely, sir. Focus on the moon or the sun and adjust the split mirror so that you can see the horizon. This main scale here, the arc, is graduated to read degrees of declination directly.
Hi. Hi. Uh, Nicole? Yes? Um... You were great out there today. Thanks. Thank you. Bosun tells me you acquitted yourself very well in the emergency. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me, Miss Roberts. You behaved like a proper seaman. Now get back to that hell. Yes, sir. What are you grinning at, Roberts? Get up there and navigate. Bring her on to zero, six, zero degrees. Yes, sir. Bring her around to zero, six, zero degrees. I can handle that.